Hello there, this is Hector, your friend from politicalscams.me, and joining me today on this special broadcast is Priscilla Garcia. We present to you today is an illustration of civil disobedience meets the authoritarian mindset. So on Wednesday, I was arrested for chalking on the pavement of LCC, and the arresting officer claimed I was doing graffiti. Some people claimed that they were being molested. Although they intended to say harassed, the officer was very gleeful and he was very happy to take me away and said that he enjoyed her, his job. In fact, if you consider the law and the ordinance, chalking on the, in the, pa on the pavement is not actually a crime. Because it does not deface property. Because it does not deface property. That's or lower or damage property. Anything, anything of the sort. Because it erases, it washes off. So the officer told my friend while I was being arrested the reason I was detained and he wasn't because I was defiant. I Which was is not a punishable offense. No. Or a justified reason to send someone. But it is a rebellious spirit that I hope is in every libertarian out there that you have to stand up for the principle. And on that civil disobedience demonstration, I was not planning or I did did not stage this to be an arrest which I look to be a, the good guy. It was inconceivable for me to be arrested. I really thought no one will be calling the cops on me and taking me away to be next to violent offenders and drug junkies and fearing my life. I felt that way, okay? I dehumanized. don't- Dehumanized. The yeah. whole process was dehumanized. It really was dehumanized. And this is also, you know, saying something about prison and jails in general. They're dehumanizing. I couldn't sleep. I felt like some part of myself died there. But that's the side, you know, I had to go through that. I learned more. Now I'm trying to get my message out there to people and ask, is this justice? That's all. I don't want you to agree with me and say, well, I, I appreciate what you're saying. No. You went to the LCC Facebook page because the, they told you that instead of doing an active demonstration, that you should put your words, your thoughts, your opinions to paper. And of course, we're not doing it on paper, but we're doing it virtually through the internet to express what you think. And you were doing it not in a negative manner, even though it made the, the, the institution look bad. Yeah. It was still, it was, it, you didn't say any curse words, you weren't being offensive, you just asked a simple question, do you think this is just? You posted it on the, on the Facebook page, and what happened? Now I don't have privileges to comment on their page. No, they deleted it. Yeah, but that they was... They deleted it. Yeah, they did. Several repeatedly. times, we tried to, and I even posted it, you posted it, we did it several times, deleted, and then after that... Then they made a, a posting saying saying what the rules were about po about other students contributing and, and contributing material to it. Should we read the what they posted? Sure, go ahead. Open up the page. And if I'm not supposed to say it on the Facebook page, as I was told, it was my right. And they claim on the page that they're open and, you know, I was hoping for okay. a positive interaction. But Priscilla, what does the Facebook page say? Okay, well, here's the posting that they made. Just a quick reminder that the LCC Facebook page is designed for positive and dynamic social interaction among prospective students, current students, employees, alumni, and interested community members. Postings should be related to LCC, and postings that are unrelated to LCC will be deleted. And then they post the rules about which, what's appropriate and what's not. But the point is that the postings that we made on the videos describing this, this, unjust, this injustice was related to LCC since it occurred at LCC. And the only reason they deleted it was because it made them look bad. And it's obvious. It's obvious. That's the clear demonstration, which I hope gets to you, you the listener. It should make you angry. It should make you outraged. If you were to go over there and write a positive message about LCC, Palomino, one of the greatest institution ever, would you be arrested? No, you would not. And the officer kept saying, I want you to know this is does have nothing to do with a message that you wrote down. Here's here's the rules that they say. Please refrain from posting profanity, abusive language, or personal attacks. Material that is unlawful, obscene, defamatory, threatening, harassing, abusive, etc., libatious, hateful, or embarrassing to any other entity as determined by LCC. That's an important thing. As determined by LCC, they determine what it is. Not it's not an objective person here. It's 
them. There is no objectivity. And they, the only one that, that it fell under was the fact that it was embarrassing that this occurred there at LCC. There was no other profanity, abusive language. There was none of that in there, in our postings, on the LCC webpage. In fact, I was- Or in the video, for that matter. No, and the video was fair and balanced because I showed a comparison where a friendly I really cop- watch it. No, but it, the link is there. I'm saying it, it is there to demonstrate to you that I am not a troublemaker, that I really want for things to be better and I'm not here to call out a cop so if you are thinking that I am a troublemaker I am I implore you to watch that video I've been doing this for some time and civil disobedience really riles the message but would really you, would you consider what you did civil disobedience or was it a political protest because I would consider a political protest which is your right to do so as a citizen disobedience is what they would call it because they don't want you doing that yeah, that is but true. But you do have the right to protest. And the fact that they're just saying... It, it felt, it's a, it's a te technicality that it was, you know, categorized as graffiti because it wasn't. It wasn't, and they had no placement in law. But how many people have already been placed in prison yeah. because a cop flagrantly disregards They use their, their, their personal so-called so judgment... Yeah. Their discretion to do such a things and they have that they have that supposed right to do that, which I don't think they should have it. I think they should go entirely by the book. The book is hard, man. Yeah, well the book is hard, but I mean to make his judgment because he was offended, because he felt stupid, because he felt ignorant, because you were providing knowledge and he thought he he perceived that as dis as Dishonored. defiant or something. It's just it's not. Well think about what our culture perceives as good now. If you know anything, then that's bad. And you mm -hmm. should you should feel ashamed of yourself. And I hate to say it, I, the people who I interacted, some of the people there were like that. They were just looking for contradiction in what I said. And I only poked the question, hey, there's something out there. What could it be? Is there, is it really something you are going to go along with? And no, I don't see anything wrong. Why should there be anything wrong? It's, it's the denial of there being something wrong which makes this corruption fester. If this corruption continues to fester, the veneer of society is gonna break anytime soon due to economic collapse and if you don't reclaim any form of civility right now you're not going to have a society you're not going to have a community what do we have now no well, once we take away someone else's rights someone who who isn't the majority someone who is the minority it's it's once we take away their rights no there's it who's going to stop other people from taking away yours once it becomes your problem you can't just sit around and be like oh this doesn't affect me because it will affect you one day when you decide to to stand up for what you believe in for what you think no you were making a great point if you don't stand up and do something now then our rights are far gone can we reclaim that institution can we make it better is it any way of saving it i really feel we can reclaim our institutions and put them in the right direction the reason things are this way is because we are allowing it. These bureaucrats are cushy in their seats with a good check and they continue to expand the campus and you're wondering why you're paying more? If you can't even voice your opinion to say this is wrong on this trivial matter, then you're not going to stand up to the real things. It's about principle. If anything, listener, it's always about principle. What's the next step? The next step includes me interviewing the student activity coordinator. If he accepts. If he accepts. He might back out. Here's the thing. If he really cares for us and he really cares for the student body and he was really friendly last time with me, I hope I can still have that contact and tell him, hey, I want you to watch this. Answer me this. Is this justice? And I hope to have that video recorded, that interaction, that interview. That's the next step. I'm going to push this conversation as far as I can. I am not yeah, looking for trouble. Apparently, we can't voice our opinion on the LCC webpage because it's not positive according to the people that are running that webpage. They don't find it positive. So you can't, you can't say anything there. Don't say anything. Keep quiet. That's what they want. That's what they want. And if you abide, hey, don't blame anyone but yourself. This is Hector and Priscilla from politicalscams.me and we'll be checking you out later. We'll be checking you out later.